a gauge, Great American Gymnastic Sprint Express, the home of the Olympians, Sharon Humphrey and Courtney McCool, and alternate Ivana Hong for the 2008 Olympics. Come on in. Now you're going to be shocked. For anybody who's a gymnastics enthusiast and knows about Gage and Hal Fong and Army Barutian, uh, then you've followed us and you've seen our gyms and you've seen how we train and you see the things that we do to make Olympians. But you're going to walk in here, I'll give you a quick whirlwind tour, and you're going to be shocked to see what it is it looks like now. And the reason is because seven months ago I had to pull out abruptly because a very nasty landlord tried to own me and my family and take credit for doing gymnastics in this community. And he would have left me with nothing and he would have left the community with nothing so I had no choice but to close down and operate somewhere else just to keep the freedom alive and to keep the gymnastics goal alive. So let's, let's come over here real quickly. I'm going to show you uh, this is what our area used to look like the office where we greeted our customers. Okay, you can see that how we pulled things out quickly. You can see the TVs are gone. You can see how um, what used to be a thriving uh, center for gymnastics development is now a ghost town. All right, so come on up here. I'm going to take you upstairs. We're going to kind of look at the gym from a bird's eye view. All right, follow me up the stairs. It was a real sad day for me when I decided to pull out, but all of my staff were with me, my team was with me, my community was with me, they knew that I had to do exactly what I did, and that was to take everything out as quickly as I could, get it away from the landlord so that I could still continue to train athletes in the manner in which you're used to seeing and which you expect from Alpha and Harmony. We're walking into the lobby um, mezzanine area, and this is where the inside of this gym is, is kind of like my workspace, my living lab. Developing athletes at the highest level, also offering recreation classes and preschool classes and bump cities and birthday parties for the community. So this was not just an Olympic training center for training Olympians. This was also a place for the community to send their kids to, to get some physical activities, to enjoy gymnastics for what it is, but anybody that likes to run, jump, bounce, climb, swing, and have a screaming good fun would like to come to this gym. Now, come on over here. Let me just pan over. So anybody that saw us on the internet with our former website, take a look around you. Just look at the gym now. It's just a mere shell of what it used to be. You'll be able to see the pits. The pits were specially designed for bar workouts, trampoline, vaulting. You can see the mirrors in the background. You can see how this spacious area covered 25,000 square feet of gymnastics training apparatus specifically designed to teach the upper level gymnastics that you see on TV. Now you see everything's gone. We took it out. We've got it in other places, but this really was the home and we want this to be the home again. But we had to escape and get away from this guy before we were able to uh, get back and do what we do. It was really unfortunate. We trained Olympians. Kansas City would miss out on us if we didn't get a chance to represent our, our country and our state for 2012. This is what I'm appealing to all of you that are watching this right now to come look and see what we had to do, see if there's anybody out there who would like to help us again, get back on track and get back in this place and give us an opportunity to do what we do. This is my livelihood. This is my destiny. This is Kansas City's finest representation of, of, of what we do to represent uh, our fair city for the Olympics. And anybody that would like to help us do this, I'm asking you to look at this, to give me a call, look at Gage, look at my website, and then help me figure out a way to get this thing going again. All right, thank you very much.